Hey, it's KMA. How's your day today? And welcome to the corner. Today, our tutorial will be about food. When you begin a world, you need to get a food source. So you got your ores, you got what you need wood-wise, and now you need a ample amount of food. So I'm not going to go over all the different types of foods. What I'm going to do is go over the best ones. If you have a gold farm, you need to do the golden carriage. That's the best thing for you to do. When you're first starting out and you are got the fishing farm going and you got the cod and the salmon going, cook up the salmon. The salmon is better than the cod for you. Just a little tip there. But let me just show you some um, basic designs that you can do to easily get <clears throat> some of the best reoccurring food sources that you can on Minecraft. After you get over a certain amount of cows, you give them water, you give them a little bit of this, and you see they're dying because of the entity cramming. And their goods... Where do their goods go? Where, 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 where? No! Oh, their goods go right here. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah. Um, all you gotta do is basically make a 3x3 <clears throat> three three area that is too tall. <laughs> Not like literally too tall, but two blocks tall. With um, the hash slabs on top so you can get it get it easier and um down there you have a dispenser with some water in it and underneath the cows you get a couple of hoppers going to the chest it's that easy it's very easy to get the meat and all you need to do is cook it up foods so you can make something like this actually i i should stand in the corner here it's basically the new version of the micro farm for 1.13, hopefully for 1.14. And just like the other ones, it has the um, dispensers with the bone meal in it. And it has a couple of observer blocks in the back. For some reason, you have to make it work with this <laughs> piston. And I will also uh, put a description to the video where you can make this basically what you want to do for this is get enough food to feed your animals so whether whether or not it's carrots potatoes or whatever to feed your animals when you have them in one of these little things I will have a video on how to make one of these things in the description below also so the other thing is if you have a gold farm like this it's pretty easy to make one it's actually really easy to make one in 1.13 um, basically you just need a full 47 by 47 area thing and um, you stick a turtle egg in the middle you just throw some um, trap doors in there so the pigmen think that they are uh, going to get the turtle eggs when in all actuality they don't so it doesn't take long to make a farm like this at all and the production value of it is pretty amazing um, in about six hours you can have it all filled up like this with a whole bunch of stuff I have a little ticker going on here to get rid of the rotten flesh well I actually get rid of everything uh, you see the lava little pool there so it gets rid of everything except for the gold itself and you can get a lot of gold out of this farm pretty easily as you see I do have a ton of gold so if you have a gold farm my suggestion is to use it afk there a lot and what what i suggest you do is you make a diamond hoe find an area like this and just uh, make sure you have um the water sources figured out before you hoe everything up oh and i don't even have any swords how am i going to kill this guy okay wait a second here Wait a second here. Uh, excuse me, coming through, coming through. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, coming through. Oh. 
<sighs> yes, so I would take a diamond hoe, um, use this whole farmland, uh, use the whole diamond hoe, and just plant a lot of carrots. And with the gold farm, you can get yourself a uh, double chest of the golden carrots pretty easily. It does take a surprisingly uh, big amount of gold to do and if you wanted to use something like this this is just a basic melon farm it's very easy there's no no redstone no nothing here you can get melons and stuff for making a, a, uh pumpkin pie if you wanted to because a lot of people do like pumpkin pie so it's a pretty good food but overall the golden carrots are the best food to have my suggestion is again at the very beginning of your world when you got the um, fishing farm going eat salmon as you go along and you want to go from salmon to beef you can set up one of those uh, one space area cow farms where you just they die because of entity cramming or if you have a gold farm uh, you can set up one like I just showed you a minute ago I mean it took like three hours maybe to set the whole thing up it's just placing spamming a bunch of blocks and you can afk there and make a big green field i don't have carrots down here right now i just have other stuff because i'm working on something else here in this particular world harvest the carrots every once in a while and you'll get eight to ten uh stacks of carrots that you can make into golden carrots and all suffice you for a few days uh the cooked salmon at the very beginning the beef or the pork i go with beef and then try and get yourself onto the golden carrots and that's what i do with the food and i suggest you try the same also thank you for watching this tutorial on what i do with food what i think you guys should do with food and you should try it out sometime Goodbye.